Okay, with two Wolfenstein games down, we return to Castle Wolfenstein. Well, BJ has captured the Spear of Destiny three times and ended Adolf Hitler's reign, so what's next? Well, if you're BJ Blazkowicz, you know the job's far from over. Return to Castle Wolfenstein was released on November 19, 2001 for Windows, along with an Xbox release named Tides of War on May 6, 2003, and a PlayStation 2 release named Operation Resurrection on May 27, 2003. This time around, there's an increase in activity from the Nazi SS Paranormal Division in Egypt, and BJ and another character, Agent One, are sent to investigate. That's quite an assignment, but I also have to mention that the console games got the prequel mission. Lucky them. Anyways, BJ and Agent One fight their way through mummies and Nazis, but things don't go according to plan, as they're captured during a flight to a designated point and are sent to Castle Wolfenstein. Bummer. To make matters worse, BJ has deja vu while Agent One is tortured. Just like before, BJ does the same thing like in Wolfenstein 3D. And that's get the drop on the enemy, grab the knife, and escape. Unfortunately, you can't rescue Agent One, so BJ has to go solo once more to fight the Nazis and put an end to the curse that the Nazis unleashed. All I can say is good luck BJ, you're going to need it. The first thing you'll notice is that there's still no minimap, but unlike before, you won't get lost as easily. Besides the obvious move from 2D sprites to 3D models, the graphics capture the feel of World War II. While the combat is a slower pace in the beginning, things really kick up once you enter the catacombs. All enemies put up a good fight and the AI is well done. Not only do you fight the Nazis, but also the undead. The difficulty does go up as you go further into the game, but not at an alarming rate. The weapons themselves are also authentic to World War II era, thus adding more to the atmosphere. The gun mechanics are programmed really well, and it doesn't feel cumbersome. The music and voice acting are also well done, and brings forth atmosphere. I guess Wolfenstein improves with age. Before it slips my mind, let me mention the gold. It really serves no purpose. Do you get anything special for collecting gold? No, you don't. So in one aspect, the gold is just a waste of time. On the other hand, searching for the gold encourages exploration. What's that? The gold does serve a purpose? Okay, so the gold does serve a purpose. The stats at the end of the level tell you how many pieces you found, but that's it. Anyways, Return to Castle Wolfenstein is a masterpiece of itself. It may have taken seven years to create, but it was seven good years. While I am aware that this game has multiplayer, the servers are non-existent, at least on the Steam version and without some modification. And before I forget, I'll be skipping the 2009 release of Wolfenstein because I don't have a copy of the game and I can't find it on Steam.